Perland, Texas. On the third and fourth day, more people showed up to rescue bats from the Waw Bridge in Houston, and a coordinated transportation effort was set up to get the bats to Warwick. Warwick said each of the bats were warmed in an incubator until their body temperature rose and then hydrated through fluids administered to them under their skin. After reaching out to other bat rehabilitators, Warwick said it was too many for any one person to feed and care for, and the Society's current facilities did not have the necessary space, so they put them in her attic, where they were separated by colony in dog kennels and able to reach a state of hibernation that did not require them to eat. As soon as I wake up in the morning, I wonder, how are they doing? I need to go see them, Warwick said. Now, Nearly 700 bats are scheduled to be set back in the wild Wednesday at the Waw Bridge and about 850 at the bridge in Perland as temperatures in the region are warming. She said over 100 bats died due to the cold, some because the fall itself ranging 50 minutes 30 feet from the bridges killed them, 56 are recovering at the Bat World Sanctuary, and 20 will stay with Warwick a bit longer. The Humane Society is now working to raise money for facility upgrades that would include a bat room, Warwick added. Next month, Warwick, the only person who rehabilitates bats in Houston, said the Society's entire animal rehabilitation team will be vaccinated against rabies and trained in bat rehabilitation as they prepare to move into a larger facility with a dedicated bat room. That would really help in these situations where we continue to see these strange weather patterns come through. Eh? Houston reached unusually frigid temperatures last week as an Arctic blast pushed across much of the country. Blizzard conditions from that same storm system are blamed for more than 30 deaths in the Buffalo, New York area. Follow AP coverage of weather at https slash slash news com slash hub slash weather